Good morning, Greater Latrobe. From the WCAT TV studio, I'm Arielle Teppert alongside Emma Urich. Coming up in today's show, there's an opportunity to earn money while attending a manufacturing camp this summer. GLSD is looking for summer workers, and reporter Gianna Lewis highlights a local artist in today's one minute documentary. All this and more on your WCAT TV news. If you are a senior who is planning to major in education, you are eligible to apply for the GLEA scholarship. Look for application information on the Guidance Office scholarship site. Please see Mrs. Kubis if you have any questions and be sure to turn in your application form to her in room H108 by the end of the day, Wednesday, April 26th. In addition, many more scholarships are coming into the Guidance Office at this time. Please check the district scholarship page regularly. Attention forensic team members, the end of the year banquet is being held on Wednesday, May 10th at Greensburg Salem High School. Please RSVP to Dr. Bomp as soon as possible so that she can make plans. Any questions, see her. Let's get a check on the weather. We go to Lily Haverly for your three day forecast. Good morning Wildcats. Today is Tuesday, April 18th and here is your three day forecast. Today is expected to be mostly cloudy with a high of 50 and a low of 31. Tomorrow we can expect it to be mostly sunny with a high of 66 and a low of 45. And finally, this Thursday will be mostly sunny with a high of 82 and a low of 60. That's all for your three-day forecast. Thanks and back to you. Students in Westmoreland County ages 16 to 18 are invited to attend the Manufacturing 365 Summer Camp in Greensburg from July 10th to July 20th. Get paid money to learn about manufacturing, earn a certificate, tour job sites, network with companies, and find a job in manufacturing and have fun. Students will earn $400 for attending all eight days. Space is limited, so apply to attend today. Please call 724-836-2600, extension 223, for more information. Are you interested in working for the Greater Latrobe School District this summer? Hours are Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. This is a 10-week program, but hours are flexible if you already have previous plans. All applicants must have working papers, and anyone 18 years of age or older must have clearances. Work includes general cleaning, moving furniture, light maintenance, and groundskeeping. The pay rate is $10.50 per hour. If you are interested, please see Mrs. Getter for an application form and return it to the Facilities Operations and Planning Department at the Administration Office or email your information to amy.sassos at glsc.us by Wednesday, May 3rd to be approved at the May 17th School Board meeting. On Friday, April 21st, we will have a very special guest speaker visiting the senior high school. Professional artist and speed painter Cody Sable will be presenting during both lunch and learns in the auditorium. Cody is a Pittsburgh native and nationally recognized artist who is known for creating realistic paintings in a matter of minutes. All students are encouraged to attend and watch him in action as he creates two hyper-realistic masterpieces live. We go to Jacob Kramer for the Wildcat Sports Report. Good morning Wildcats. Today the boys tennis team has a match at Valley High School at 10 a.m. Then there is a track meet at Norwin High School at 3 p.m. After that the varsity baseball team has an away game at Albert Gallatin at 4.15 p.m. Then the varsity girls lacrosse team has an away game at York High School at 6 p.m. Following that the boys varsity lacrosse team plays at Penn Trafford at 7.15 p.m. Finally the varsity boys volleyball team has an away game at Armstrong at 7.30 p.m. In national sports news in the MLB, there are 15 games. Headlining the night is the Pirates in Colorado against the Rockies at 8:15. In the NHL, there are four games. Headlining the night is the Tampa Bay Lightning versus the Toronto Maple Leafs at 7:30. Finally, in the NBA, there are three games. Headlining the night is the LA Clippers versus the Phoenix Suns at 9 p.m. That's all for sports news. Thanks, and back to you. Thanks, Jacob. Broadcast and Video Production 2 students have created one-minute documentaries based on the 60-second doc series. Here is a video created by Gianna Lewis. My name is Anita Kazinko. I'm from Greensburg, Pennsylvania. I am a bead embroiderer and an international jewelry artist. About 15 years ago, I walked into a bead store in Monroeville, and I met a young lady who was doing bead embroidery, which is what I do. And I took a class from her, and from then on, I was hooked. I started getting into competitions about five years ago. 
Um, every competition I entered was in the United States, and then I eventually entered the international competitions. But in my industry, you have to be asked to be in them. So after I started winning, then I got to be it, asked to be into the international competitions. I come up with my design ideas in really strange ways. Sometimes I dream them. Um, if Gianna takes you around and shows you the one piece I have with the fur, I was out in my garden and I saw one of those garden stakes that was shaped like an S, and that's, I came up with that design. <laughs> in each design, sometimes I invest a year. The dollhouse that you see behind me, it took me a year. I had to build it and then beat it. The piece that won for me, this green piece, I had to do that in one month. Yeah, I've traveled to Milwaukee, to Philadelphia, I've traveled to Tucson, and recently I've been asked to go overseas to Paris and some places in Europe to teach. I hope to inspire creativity and also just to find your way into art. A lot of people think that they can't do any art, but they really can. And that's why I hope I inspire. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here is Taryn Yetzi with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Latrobe? Today in the main line, they have mashed potato bowl day with mashed potatoes topped with golden gravy, chicken bites, and corn. Tomorrow they will have a double dog day with funny rings and baked beans. The sandwich options are hamburger, cheeseburger, and chicken patty. The pizza options are homemade cheese and pepperoni pizza. The grab and go bar has fresh salads and deli hoagies. The soup of the day is Fiesta Taco. That's what's cooking. Thanks and back to you. And now here's the story of someone who is dedicated to music and performing. Here is reporter JJ Amaros with today's Student Spotlight. Benjamin Fear has been involved in music for his entire school career. He has been playing trumpet in a concert band since fourth grade and joined drama club in seventh, even getting a lead role in the 2021 production of At the Bandstand. He also joined the marching band in 10th grade. I guess from like elementary school, whenever we would start <laughs> like the, the general music classes, I thought those were pretty fun. And as I progressed through school, I kind of, like, I, I found I, I liked it a lot. And so I wanted to go more like advanced with uh, chamber choir. And now that I'm in wind ensemble. Ben never becomes bored of music because there's so much variety in what he does that it's hard for it to get repetitive. But he does have a favorite style of performance. I kind of like musical more because it's more out there in the public than just like a concert or two. For some, being on stage in front of people can be quite nerve-wracking, but Ben has been able to overcome that obstacle. I, I always, I didn't really notice it for a while, but I think I, I did have a, a little stage fright. Um, but after a while, like just doing it, I kind of get, kind of just have fun with it and it doesn't really affect me too much. Most of Ben's free time is taken up by Drama Club, but whenever he has the time for it, he likes to cook, read, and play video games. For inspiration, he doesn't look to celebrities or influencers, but rather people in this very school. I guess I get mostly inspired by the, the people who, who teach it, like all the directors and, and other teachers. Ben isn't planning on pursuing music as a career, but rather saving it in case he needs it later. Nonetheless, he intends on committing his time to music for the rest of high school. Ben isn't quite sure what he wants to do after high school, but he aims to continue performing along with whatever he does. Now here is Zoe Favada with Wildcat World News. Good morning, Wildcats. Today in World News, a volcano spewed out ash for a second day in Russia's far eastern peninsula, throwing clouds of dust into the sky. The volcano started erupting early last week, spewing dust over 300 miles northwest and engulfing several villages. The villages close to, closer to the eruption were covered by an 8-inch layer of dust. Since the start of the eruption, the area had been closed to aircraft and residents had been advised to stay indoors. Next, firefighters in New Jersey were confronted by 200-foot flames as they battled a wildfire and prompted evacuations. The fire tore through six miles of forest and about 170 homes were evacuated, with fire officials going door-to-door -door asking people to take temporary shelter. Luckily, no injuries have been reported. That's all for World News. Thanks and back to you. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCATTV News. Have a great day, Latrobe. We are GL. Go Wildcats!